The key to a successful job search is a strong resume and cover letter. This is how you introduce yourself to potential employers and show them you have what it takes to excel in the position. Start by building a resume. Begin with your name, phone number, and email at the top of the page. You want to make sure the employer can easily contact you. Next, list your relevant education, skills, and experience. Begin with your most recent and relevant positions. Including volunteer experience is a great way to demonstrate your work ethic and commitment to the community. Try to use phrases, keywords, and skills that are listed in the job posting. And be specific when describing previous roles and responsibilities. Use verbs to describe situations that reflect specific skills. For example, rather than simply stating that you're a good public speaker, offer a situation that highlights this skill, such as, I presented at weekly meetings with board members. The ideal length of a resume is two pages. This can vary depending on the industry, but you should always try to maximize space. Employers are often reviewing a lot of resumes in a short amount of time, so you want to be clear and direct. Make sure each point is related to the position and only provide references if required. You can always give more information if you land an interview. Plus, there's the cover letter. This is your opportunity to stand out from the crowd. Use the cover letter as a way to expand on your resume, highlighting in more detail why you're perfect for the job. Treat it like a short essay. It shouldn't be longer than a single page. The ideal length is 300 to 600 words. Begin by introducing yourself and why you're interested in the position. Try to personalize it as much as possible. Instead of starting with to whom it may concern, try to find out who exactly is hiring and address it to them. Next, briefly detail your applicable work, education, and volunteer experience. Demonstrate you've done your research by customizing it for the organization and the position. Share concrete examples and try to relate everything back to the job description. Your conclusion should sum up how your combination of experience and skills makes you the best fit for the role. There's no perfect way to build a resume and cover letter. Just do your research, avoid spelling errors, and show what makes you uniquely qualified. Remember, confidence is key. You've got this.